Ever wondered why summers feel hotter than they used to? It's not just nostalgia for cooler days of the past. The world's temperature is, in fact, rising. This phenomenon, known as global warming, is a result of an increase in the Earth's average temperature over the past century, but what does this mean, average temperature? Simply put, it's the middle ground of all the temperatures recorded across the globe. Now, this doesn't mean every place on Earth is experiencing the same rise in temperature. Some places might be getting much hotter while others are not seeing much change at all. But the overall trend, it's an upward climb, and it's accelerating. The last five years have been the hottest on record. The heat is not just a seasonal visitor anymore, it's becoming a permanent resident. So it's not just your imagination. The world is indeed getting hotter. But what exactly is causing our planet to heat up? You see, the answer is not a simple one. It's a combination of factors, but the main culprit is human activity. Yes, we are the architects of our own climate crisis. Our industrial activities like burning fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas are releasing massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide, along with other greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide, trap heat from the sun. It's like throwing a thermal blanket over our planet. And then there's deforestation. We're cutting down vast swaths of forests which are vital for absorbing carbon dioxide. By eliminating these natural carbon sinks we're allowing more of this heat-trapping gas to remain in our atmosphere, exacerbating the warming effect. So, in essence, our actions are turning the Earth's atmosphere into a sort of pressure cooker. In other words, we are turning our planet into a giant greenhouse. So, what does this mean for us and our planet? Well, let's delve right into it. The effects of global warming are far-reaching and profound. As temperatures continue to rise, ice caps are melting at an unprecedented rate. This in turn causes sea levels to rise, posing a significant threat to coastal communities. But it's not just about rising waters. The changing climate is also altering weather patterns. We're seeing more intense storms, longer droughts, and unpredictable rainfall. These changes can lead to devastating floods and crippling heat waves that impact both human and wildlife communities. Speaking of wildlife, they're feeling the heat too. Many species are struggling to adapt to these rapid changes, leading to a decrease in biodiversity. This is particularly true in vulnerable areas where the effects of global warming are most pronounced. And let's not forget about us humans. Changes in weather patterns and rising sea levels can disrupt our ways of life, affecting everything from agriculture to our health. The consequences of global warming are real and happening right now. But it's not all doom and gloom, there's something we can do about it. Yes, you heard that right. We can all roll up our sleeves and get to work. It starts with everyday actions like turning off lights when you leave a room, carpooling to reduce carbon emissions, or even choosing to walk or cycle for shorter trips. But it doesn't stop there. We can support renewable energy, whether by installing solar panels on our rooftops or simply choosing a green energy supplier. We can also make a difference with our wallets. Supporting companies that prioritize sustainability sends a strong message that we value our planet. And let's not forget about the power of collective action. It's important to back policies that promote environmental sustainability. Whether it's signing a petition, voting for green initiatives, or joining a climate action group, we can make our voices heard. Remember, every single action counts. Together, we can turn the tide against global warming.